All right, let me demonstrate how to make quizzes, questions, and question banks. Now, Canvas has created a little bit of um, confusion on us, and I'll show you where it happens. When you click on quizzes, there's nothing here right now because we haven't made a quiz. Um, to start making questions and quiz banks and all that stuff, we need a quiz. So watch what happens when I click on quiz. It will ask me what type of quiz do I want to make. Now, they operate fairly differently and their banks are different and it's kind of confusing, honestly. But I think for what you're doing, this, this here is the simplest way to make quizzes. And it's called new quizzes, so I think we move forward. This is where I've made all mine in new quizzes. So we say, I'd like a new quiz. And um, up it comes, it asks us for the name, so we'll just call this chapter one test. We'll leave it at 10 points. Sometimes this will say assignments, but if you've added groups, there might be many options. You might have homework or, or assignments or whatever you have here, but it's a quiz. And then I scroll down and click OK or save. Now what it will do is that was kind of the setup of it. Now it brings me to the actual quiz. You'll notice there's my title. I could click in here and add instructions. Um, but really what I want to do is add questions. Now the typical thought might be that um, you are going to add a question here. And, um, and you could do that. You could add an individual question here. But I'm going to kind of move us to the bank idea. So while I'm in the quiz, I can go up here and one of the options is to manage the item banks. Now you're looking at my banks, which I don't know, I probably have a hundred banks or more and have all kinds of questions for all kinds of courses. Yours will be much simpler, but let's make a bank for you. So I'm in the item bank area and I say add banks. I'm going to put a zero in front of the name. And the only reason I do that is because it will put it at the very top of my list so that you and I can see it. Here it is. Zero questions here. This one has 9, 32, 22, 22, and so on. So now I have a bank, but uh, no questions. So if I go in here, there are no questions in your bank. Add new questions. So this is where we're going to produce our questions. So I say add a question. And I have all kinds of types of questions. You and I are going to just make multiple choice for now. And uh, I want to go here in the question stem, and I'm going to add the question. Now, what I told you to do is create um, a bunch of images to save a lot of typing. So what I've done here, this is a folder that's just open beside my browser, and it has the images for this quiz. So I wish it was as easy as just picking it up and dropping it into that location. It's not quite that easy, but it's close. All you do is click on Upload Media. It says you'd like an image, drag and drop it here. So if I pick this up and I bring it over and I drop it, it brings it in. Now, sometimes the image turns out to be distorted, like really big or, or uh, usually really big, sometimes small. And so I just resize it and then it looks good to me. On the very first question, I have to put A, B, C, and D. And this particular answer, you would want to have a key close by so you know the answers. Uh, I've got them written down so that I know what they are. So there's my question, and the answer is D. And then I hit Done or Save. There is our first question. Now, here's the cool part. Because we're in the bank and because uh, we have made one question that's multiple choice, we don't want to repeat that work over and over again. So what we do is we hit the Copy button. And it says copy to the existing bank. Yes, keep a copy in the bank. Yes, and I want it to go in the bank that's called chapter one. What this will do is duplicate my questions. You're saying, well, why does he want two? Well, watch. I open the duplicate by editing it. I click on the image, hit delete. I click on new image, and I bring in my next question. And it comes in. And then I resize that uh, to be what I want. I grab a corner of it until it's a decent size. I know the answer to this one is B, so I click on B. 
and I save it. It's that quick. I've made two of them. So I want to make another one. So I hit copy. It's already set up for me. I don't have to do anything here. It makes a duplicate. I hit edit. I click on the image. I hit delete. I hit new image and I bring in the new image. They often come in a little distorted. This one's actually not too bad. Distorted, I mean, just large, I guess. There it is the way I like it. This answer is C. I have to change my answer. And I hit done. Let's just do it one more time to get maybe four questions in here. I hit duplicate. It's set up for me. I go in by editing it. I click on the image. I hit delete. I bring up new image. And I bring in my new image. And there it is. It's actually pretty good size. Uh, the answer to this one is D. I click D and I am done. Now what we've done is we've made four questions here and we could continue that repeat process. Again, just I, I got to do one more. Set up, add, and then I click on edit. I hit delete. I hit new image and I bring in the new image. I adjust the size. If I like the size, it's good. This uh, answer is also D, so I leave it alone and it's there. So that's all you have to do to make questions. Um, and once uh, you've made all 20 questions or how many you do, you hit return. Now back at the test here, you have uh, some options when you add them. I like this. I hit plus and this is making new ones, but I have some in the bank, so I hit bank. And now I go into that bank, and there they all are. Now, I could add them individually, plus, plus, plus. Like if I hit this, it would add it in here. You'll see it. Or I can just select add all at random. So I'm going to do that, and then close this out. And then uh, what happens is you can see it creates um, all five of those. And what you can do is you can hit randomly select them and you could just have it pick two or three or all five of them if you wanted you could leave it as use all of them or you could say i only want two from that group and it will take two of the five or the ten that you wanted if you want all 20 questions you can just leave it in the original or all of the questions leave it in the original and it'll just grab them at a random order and an item there um, i don't want this one in duplicate so i'll remove it so now my test is ready to go. I hit, uh, I might go to settings and I want to shuffle those questions. Um, I want multiple attempts. I allow people to take the quiz twice or whatever the case is. You can customize this return. Um, and there it is right there. Now notice I only have what three or four questions I'm doing and it's out of 10. So you may want to edit that and you can go back and you can edit that if you want, if that doesn't work. But that's the process of making the questions and then making the quizzes. Hopefully that helps.